Getting a little scratch in there, buddy. <laughs> cousin's house having coffee before we head out and look at this one. Hi. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the, oh, you love the camera? Yes, you do, Lenny. And you like to bite my ankles. <laughs> thank you. Alright, we're on day three. Vlog starting here. We are in Dartmoor National Park. Um, there's a ton of wildlife, beautiful views of the hills and the mountainside. I'll flip you this way. Horses. Horses. Some sheep. But yeah, we are exploring around here today and just hanging out, hoping the rain doesn't happen. <laughs> so we made it to Dartmoor National Park and this place is really pretty. Anna actually saw if you believe it, two ponies. If I come over here, <laughs> he's gonna look like he's getting a little scratch on uh, his neck, but <laughs> what are the chances? Oh my god. So it looks like a pony there. Getting a little scratch in there, buddy. We were lucky enough to actually avoid the rain for the majority of the morning and just enjoyed exploring and driving around Dartmoor National Park. It was absolutely beautiful, it was so much wildlife, we were really impressed. We found wild ponies on the side of the road, stopped off there to check them out for a little bit, and then just kept driving really. Um, like I said, we were just overwhelmed by how much natural beauty there was here. Dartmoor National Park is massive. You could honestly spend hours just driving around. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, guys, look at this. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> A whole field of them. And then look over here. Sheeps. Sheepies. Hey, bud. All these sheep. And then more cows. We were super excited when we found these highland cows in the middle of the road. They were massive, but super friendly. We tried to keep our distance, but we saw them and we had to stop immediately. Just pulled over, got out of the car, and went to go check them out. bridge which is this bridge here it's really an old old bridge dating back centuries and it's flat stone which is super cool and this is really pretty as well so cool okay we've been in the car for quite some time you saw all those wild animals but Dartmoor National Park is really pretty we just came to this forest area you can see the car is parked here. We're gonna walk around and explore, it, see what we can find. I have a little blanket. We have a rain jacket in case it starts raining. But honestly, so far the weather's held out. Um, any thoughts, babe? Very good. It's very, very pretty. pretty. Little mountain man. Yeah. <laughs> We've been really lucky today. That's why they're so far, really pretty. <clears throat> I don't know if this is like right. What do you mean? Like, okay. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> Just walk I around. always question our direction. Yeah, like after two steps, Hannah would be like, I don't think this is the right way. And it's like, come on, let's just go. But yeah, no, this place seems really cool. Parking's free, always a bonus. 
especially on this trip. But yeah, man, like this place is so pretty. It's peaceful, it's quiet. And we're gonna try and find some forests. We ended up finding this really pretty forest area where there were a ton of families having picnics nearby. So we decided to set up one of our own and we were lucky enough to have these wild horses just come by across the river. It was so peaceful and so fun watching them as we enjoyed our picnic. <laughs> Alright guys, this has been such a beautiful stop off. I'm so happy we made yeah. the choice to check this out. Dartmoor National Park is really beautiful. There's so many beautiful trees, wild horses, there's yeah. like this creek. Well it's a cool place. It's like um it's almost like a small little park, but there's loads of like families and stuff. Man, it's just it's just a cool place to go and explore. I wasn't I wasn't expecting it to be this good you yeah know? there's so many trails so if you guys want to do any hiking definitely check them out yeah. and then there's these things called moors which are these beautiful rock formations and there's so many of them we're gonna go check out two yeah hopefully if it doesn't start <laughs> raining <laughs> okay and just as we were outside talking to you guys it just started pouring yeah. rain so the rain was supposed to come at 11 it came at noon Actually, it came at one. Yeah, so, so we were lucky. A little bit delayed, so we were lucky we got at least a little bit, a few hours to enjoy Dartmoor <laughs> National Park before it started pouring. Dartmoor National Park is famous for the moors. So there's Haytor on the moor, and there's a few. You have to Google them. Um, we were supposed to go hike them today, but basically they're really cool rock formations um, after this hike, through the hike on the hill, and it's super beautiful. So if you're in this area, definitely check it out. <laughs> but we had a successful morning taking pictures and seeing some stuff. So yeah, we still got to enjoy it for yeah, a few hours this morning. Good, yeah, better than yesterday. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I think I have to do a better job next time I plan road trips to just like maybe check the weather before we get off. You can't do that in England. The weather changes so quick. It's I know. Just, uh, it's not something it's you can do. Definitely been hit and miss, but that's all right. Beautiful nonetheless. These country roads are no joke, you guys. I'm so scared. Look how narrow they are. Every, every time a car turns up and it like freaks out and stops like because it's crying. Because literally, okay, just a minute ago, I didn't have the camera on. We had to pull over because a huge lorry was coming and these, these lanes are so narrow. And the car, we're on a hill and there's a car behind us and the car stalled, turned off and we start rolling. No, I put the brake Literally, on and I'm I going freaking back. start crying because we're like a freaking rolling down a hill backwards. Are we almost there? <laughs> almost. I'm about to lose it. Every corner, like look. It is. I'm taking so tight. This is the widest it's been. So as you can tell, the roads in the countryside here in England are very narrow. George had to drive for about 45 minutes along these roads, which required him to pay attention and really focus, but we were definitely starting to get hungry, so we decided to stop off at this local village and have a nice little lunch. We got some clotted cream and scones and some coffee and a delicious chai tea latte, might I add. Um, but yeah, that was the rest of our afternoon. We hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and stay tuned.